Libya is essentially one country with three power centers, and it's been embroiled in a political struggle since 2014. The UN-backed National Unity Government has the support of international forces, but it's seen as weak in comparison to the many armed groups throughout the country. And none of them are really national players, but let's take a look at some of the most prominent factions. The Libyan National Army is led by General Khalifa Haftar, and his forces have seized some of the biggest oil ports throughout the country. While he has the backing of the elected parliament in the east, it's not recognized as a proper military throughout the country. The port city of Misrata is home to some of the country's largest and most powerful militias, and they continue to fight one another for power. While they have a strategy of containing Daesh from spreading westward, experts feel they lack the capacity to completely eliminate the terrorist group from the country. Forces in the West Libyan mountain town of Zintan have lost key strategic sites in the country, including Tripoli's international airport, which was destroyed during the war. Some have joined the so-called tribal army, others have remained loyal to Heftar, and others have chosen to completely distance themselves. In terms of terrorist groups in the country, Daesh proclaimed presence in Libya in 2014. A year later, it bolstered its presence in Gaddafi's former hometown of Sirte. Experts say the leadership has been largely dominated by foreigners. Al-Qaeda affiliate Ansar al-Sharia formed in 2012, and it's the largest terrorist group in the country and it's been competing with Daesh for members and territory. It's mostly composed of a young generation of extremists who have started doing charitable work to try and build up popularity. They also run foreign fighter camps for people traveling to Mali, Iraq, and Syria. 